Nope. Pardon? Nope. Uh, a couple of professional examples here. Uh, I'm going to hone in on something very specific. I'm sure you're really familiar with all the basics and the kind of the fundamentals of the serve. <clears throat> what I'm going to draw your attention to as we go through a couple of pro examples is the angle of the elbow as the racket starts to drop and the distance between the racket and the body as it drops. So the angle here is 90 degrees. As uh, Milos's chest turns forwards, he maintains that 90 degrees. And I just want you to look at the, the spacing or the distance between his, his body and his racket. Uh, so here's Roger, a little bit different angle. And check out the angle of the elbow here as the arm starts to fall. A little bit less than 90 degrees, close to 90. And it's tough to tell the distance between the racket and the, the body here, so we can't really use this for that one. But, yeah, you, but you can see the, the length of the forearm. Ex exactly, yes. Yeah, that's basically a measuring stick here. Obviously, since his uh, elbow hasn't compressed or contracted, his racket can't be any closer to the body than the length of his forearm. So what's really happening here is there's a big stretch of the shoulder that's happening. Uh, and that's, in reality, what causes the racket drop on a high-level serve is the chest rotating up while the shoulder stretches back. This is something I've really just started to understand myself recently. And that's a real, that's a real thing, for sure. We're, we're going to find out range of motion with the, with the shoulder. Uh, let me just show you one more. Here's uh, Novak uh, from a back angle. He's a little bit more bent in at his trophy pose than 90. As his chest turns up, he gets back to 90 degrees. You can see the space here between the, the racket and the body. So it's not until pretty late in the swing where the arm really kind of un, uh, extends right. up towards contact. It's just really at the very last, right. the last. section. Yeah. The, yeah, to the release of the, the lag of the racket that the arm actually extends. So um, <clears throat> for decades, what everybody has always talked about is this uh, back scratch uh, p position. Yeah, and that rather than loading the shoulder, what that does is it just bends the elbow and there's no real biomechanical leverage here. It's just like, okay, so my forearm can kind of tomahawk the, the racket but the, sh the shoulder is dramatically more strong. <laughs> you feeling that already? So, <clears throat> you've done very well with the motion you have, but when I look at your uh, delivery, that one thing really stands out to me. Just yep. So you, you achieve the drop by squeezing the elbow in and that brings the, the racket really close to the body. And so there's not a whole lot of leverage. Uh, for, yes, you are dropping the racket, so that's good. And so we have a long runway here to be able to build speed, but the strength and the size of the lever you're using here is very limited compared to uh, flexing at the shoulder and pulling the racket upwards with the shoulder. So in effect, you're kind of uh, relying on uh, the forearm to accelerate the racket instead of the, the serve, uh, instead of the shoulder uh, to accelerate the racket. All right, Stuart. So I'm gonna actually set the screen up so you can, maybe this won't be helpful. It might even be distracting. If it is, just tell me. But I find a lot of times uh, it's helpful on the serve in particular for people to watch uh, themselves move. So what I want you to do is go ahead and go to your normal trophy pose position. So turn and kind of set your racket up. And all we're gonna practice. I'm really trying hard to <laughs> All we're gonna practice here is your shoulders starting to turn this way. Which way? Uh, this way, around towards the net. Oh, I'm serving. Yes. Okay. While your arm and racket drops this way. So now, do you see the the right. bend in your elbow? It stays right. at 90. And if we turn you forwards a little further, 
you see the distance between right. your, your body and, and the racket, yeah. as opposed to uh, this, right. which is what you're doing before right. to, to achieve the, yeah. the drop. That wasn't comfortable. <laughs> just, just so you know. I, I, I get it. I, get it. I totally, totally get it. So what, I want you to now manage it yourself and move through it really slowly and calmly. Like, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, good, 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 good. Nice job. So as your chest turns forwards, yeah, good. That's when your shoulder is going to stretch back. And so what you're probably feeling is a stretch like in the front, yeah, of, yeah, your, yeah, yeah. front of your shoulder yeah. here. Yeah. Basically, the more range of motion you have here, the more leverage, the more stretch, uh, the more range of motion you can go through to actually accelerate the, the racket up towards contact. The tighter this is, the less of a true racket drop you're going to have. Uh, just to clarify here, just a little bit, Stuart, check out the, the screen. <clears throat> you just, you, you're going to have to be very mindful of this. Uh, fantastic start, but then right here, we get a little bit of that, that bend back in there again. For me, I, like I said, uh, Stuart, I've started working on this recently. <clears throat> uh, I fell into a pattern of doing this. And for me, when, I pract when I'm practicing, it feels to me, I swear to God, like my arm is extending. Right, exactly. Right, and so right. you almost have to force your arm to like go away from your shoulder in order to keep it just at 90 degrees. Right, right, right. See if you can go through the motion and have your elbow not even get to 90 degrees. So actually, actually leave your arm extended more than, sorry? Obtuse? Yes. See if you can do that. Actually try to do that. Larger angle than 90 degrees. Now look at, what, look at what actually happened. This is the one you just did. It's better. Look it. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, isn't that crazy? <laughs> so I'm, I just, I'm just trying to trick you here. But look at you, you, you maintained it almost at 90. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Yeah. So it's going to feel to you like you're actually like straightening your arm. Right, right, right. Feel for the stretch in the front of your shoulder. Obtuse elbow. You brought the elbow in a little more at that time. See if you can do two extended, just for fun. T-O-O -O extended? Yes, correct. Overly extended arm. Nope. Pardon? Nope. <laughs> Tell me when you think you for sure, like, oh, that was too straight. Well, obviously you laughed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ooh, it's getting there. That, did that one feel better? Did that one look better? Here, I'll show you your last two. This, this, this is your last one. I, I like this one quite a lot, it's, Stuart. It's, again, it's a start. It's getting there. Can I hit a ball on the court? Probably not, but that's fine. That's better. That's better. There's one you just did. Yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm out. Okay, all right, all right. Looks good. And I like this, short, this transition here is, is pretty good, Stuart. Look at you've got a solid like um, six inches now, maybe eight inches between your racket and your back as you transition here into the racket drop. That's not six, eight, or eight inches. Hey, we're getting there. We're getting there. Dude, how many, what, what, two decades? Three decades? No, you've been playing 40 years, right? 43. Four decades you've been, you've been doing the elbow bend. So give, cut yourself a yeah, break. But I mean, it's only been the last 17 years. <laughs> Stuart, if you kept that speed and you loaded your shoulder effectively, which you're getting closer and closer, I honestly believe you'll hit a bigger serve off that effort than what you're normally used to hitting with full effort. Do you believe that? Theoretically. It's theoret theoretically. If, the, if those things happen, I, I honestly believe you'll hit a bigger serve with that effort. Before we stop, I'd, I'd love to see you try to hit a couple. Just to see what happens. It might be you just go back to the old one, but I, I'd love for you to try it. Yeah, I mean, and see if you can main... What's the point? Let's give it a shot. I like the fake toss uh, repetition. I, I think that's really smart. Yeah, good, 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 good. What that look like? Looks like a hybrid, but like maybe a hybrid plus to me. 
I like the, the energy you got off the, the racket. Yeah, earlier, like you got to 90 earlier. Um, there's still, I think here, if we looked at, we really should look at a side angle, honestly. And it looks to me like in addition to your elbow closing uh, in this direction, Stuart, I think you're also kind of tucking your, your arm in right, 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 right. Pretty, pretty close to your body. Right. But then you're kind of recovering and getting to this position earlier than you were before. Uh, let me show you your old, uh, your old serve. So at the bottom of the, like you're already at 90 here. Whereas before, do you see the angle you've got here in your, your elbow? Right. I know it doesn't look like a no, can, gigantic contra. Space, yeah, yeah. More yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right. So more space, more collapse. Yep, yeah. yep, yep. So I would, I would estimate that this one on the right is like halfway there, which is great. Like it's a great step in the right direction. It's just going to take time and, re and repetition and feel. And actually, you know what? Um, <clears throat> these last couple, let me get an angle from the side so we can get a better view of uh, what's going on here. Good. I, hit the, I hit the curtain in one bounce there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look at that real quick. Good, yeah, look at, look at, look at the angle now. Good, dude, it's, it's much, it's much better. There you go. Nice job. Look, you can, you can do it. Um, your our shoulder's not stretching back as far as Rogers, but that's, okay, well, that's fine. Know, Pete Sampras could touch his elbows behind his back. I, I, mean, I remember that in Tennis Magazine, yeah, it freaked me out. Know, okay, somebody need to help him, but you know, if you put my shoulders in that position, Okay, they'd be done. Dude, look at this. All right, last this. I'm actually just going to hit both of these. Sure. Yeah, go ahead. I'm going to start taking some notes. Oh, you're not going to video this? Okay. I'll get them for you if you. It better be good. No, <laughs> Good. That was a that was a really nice quick. This, this is not easy. That's a look at the the space now between your your body and the racket. This is giving like it's like air. You're like you're like giving right. space and like right. air to your shoulder and right. the and the racket to be able to move and stretch. Nice job. If you keep working on this, I think it's going to make a huge difference in your serve. 